Hello, my name is Creostix and welcome back to the Beta of Gwent and to my excursion into the multiple different factions here and to my uh, attempt to create a Skellige deck from the base cards and such and such that I happen to have here. So, I have again built this deck beforehand so we save some time here and what I have here is Two clan uncrate warriors, which lose two strength when they come on the battlefield. The prize-winning cow, Juta an Dimun, or Jutta an Dimun. And Geralt, clan Bro Brokvar hunter, which is once again the ballista of this faction. Priestess of Freya, two of them, which resurrect a bronze non-permadeath unit. Clan Todorak shieldsmith, which add two base strength to a non-gold unit on my side of the battlefield. A war longship, which remove two strength from a random opposing non-gold unit whenever a unit on my side is destroyed or I discard a unit. A light longship, which is simply immune to weather. And then Skellige Storm, Stemmelforge Tremors, Commander's Horn, Two First Lights, a Thunderbolt Potion, which I will return to in a second to explain why, two war cries and two lacerates. And indeed, if you look at this and see, well, it looks like a kind of a weak, weak-ish deck with not a, a whole lot of like you know resurrection synergy and all that. You would be absolutely correct, sir, <laughs> or madam, or yeah. anyway, you would be very correct because there is the problem that I don't have a whole lot of good cards for the Skellige deck. I didn't get a whole bunch of good ones from the seven kegs early earlier, and s stuff like Queen's Guard is useless when I have only one of them. Clan Twizyak Axeman is is a possibility to use, but I don't have a lot of weakening e elements in my deck anyway, so they never would get, in any significant sense, strong. Clan Uncrate Raider, it is a good thing if I would have a lot of discard cards or such, but I have none of them, so nope. And again, Clan Drum and Shield Maiden, a cool card, but I ho only have one of them, so it's useless. Clan Twilsayak Skirmishers, then again, they would be useful if I would manage to get extremely lucky and just resurrect them with the Priestess of Freyas. Getting that lucky, however, that's a whole different story, man. I... That would be so lucky that it's just, I don't see that happening, and I just prioritize the other stuff instead. Because they are, on on their face, in most cases, stronger. And uh, Cleaver I wondered about. That was the one I wondered, like, maybe I should have him. I'm still kind of wondering about that, because, to be honest, a light longship is not all that good. But what I have going for here is very simply the synergy idea of trying to get four or three of these or three of these on the deck and use Thunderbolt Potion on them or use pretty much whatever I have here and then weaken them with the Tamilforge Tremors or simply just the fact that, uh, that I have clan and crate warriors, and then use my two war horns, or, well, one of them, to create strength. So that's, like, what I have going for here. It looks a bit weak, and I agree it does. It doesn't have a whole bunch of strength in numbers here, which is the problem, but I just, I don't have good units to use here. That's a pro that is a real, real problem here. So, with that said, let's go in the multiplayer and try. And actually, the name again, Verinen Kirves, which is Finnish again, and it translates to the Bloody Axe. Which, I mean, they are Vikings, which kind of fit, and I have Axemen, so why not? It, it sounds cool and feels nice, yes. And here we are then, and let's roll. We will probably lose, but always try before like, you know, giving up. We might get lucky. 
it's always possible. Never, never completely surrender. Yes. <laughs> okay, and it's probably going to be a high-level monster deck or something, and then we're just going to get creamed. But you know. Okay, okay, come on. You've got the heart. How can I always predict these things? <laughs> Seriously, high-level monster deck. Yep, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, we have these two already. Let's keep them. The Skellige Storm gives some weather control, which can be useful. And a prize-winning cow at the end there. I don't really know how to get any better either, so, so I think I'm just going to keep this and just see what happens. But the default presumption here is that I'm going to lose extremely badly. I have, I, I just do not have cards with which I could, you know, do shit. I just don't. I hmm. I have only garbage. That that is really a problem. I'm going to start with the prize-winning cow. And when I say I have only garbage, I don't only mean the hand. I mean the collection anyway. I there is. I didn't see a good way to improve my odds by. Drawing more cards because every single card I pretty much have just sucks. So, hmm. The real question is do I give him this round? But I shouldn't because the prize winning cow tactic ver works extremely poorly against monster decks because he's gonna keep his latest thing there anyway. So, hmm. I promise you a quick deal. That's the best I can think of here. Manticore. Mm. I believe Manticore is a card which one gets when you reach level... I want to say it was either 4 or 5. I'm willing to believe 6 as well, but one of the... But one of those is the Manticore. Okay, uh, hmm... Well, I could add base strength to that, but whatever. Ah, uh, man, I am not. Yep, let's do a long ship, sure, whatever. But yeah, it really does look like I have zero chance of actually winning here. My only hope is to try to bait him to do a whole bunch of siege row and hope he doesn't have weather, weather clearing effects. Otherwise, there's just nothing I can do. Hmm. Hmm. Let's so what? let's do Should this then, because I don't have any. I don't want to use the the uh, leader ability yet in this round if I can avoid it. That's really the thing here. Okay, so he keeps putting the siege units there, which might prove advantageous to me. But now it really does look like I have to use the. Uh, the uh, spawn clan and crate warriors. I just... I... I don't have any choices here. I really don't. If he passes, this could be, be my warhorn round too. So I have two ways of winning one round at least. I'm going to try and take one round, man. I will lose the game, but I time. will try to take a round. Okay. Now it becomes 
tricky because he's gonna get Siri back in his hand if I win this round. But I still think I should try to do exactly that. Let's do a torrential rain and uh, make the weather really bad, yes. Okay, so he's thinking. What's it gonna be? If he has first light, he could absolutely use that now. It's not a bad moment at all. He could also pass the round, keep his latest monster, which would be, I think, the, uh, the, the, the Wyvern. Wyvern. I always fuck up that Any like last words. Hmm, Geralt. Interesting. Okay, so uh let's see here. What I can do now is warhorn my dudes and still win. There we are. Okay, what you gonna bring now? Okay, now he passes. Okay, okay. I took one round. You all saw that. I, I fought valiantly and took one round at least. Yeah, and he gets Siri back in his hand. And he gets the Wyvern. And two golems, because he had the golem there. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. Now the question really is... Okay, I have one, two, three, four... We, we both have six cards, and I have already used my leader ability. I think I should just pass the round, make him throw something in the field, and make it a more level playing field that way, in the final round. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I am hoping that I can pull a useful card on the next pull and do something nice. Hmm. He got a lucky ghoul there, I gotta admit. I think I w it, it was a good idea to do that because I would have had a lot of trouble to deal with that one. Oh! Why did I get... Two based. Wait a second here. I'm actually confused. Why did Don't I get. Make me laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why did I get two base strength to my units in my hand? Now I actually don't know. Although I also have no, no, no memory of what is the Skellige. Ability even that could just could have something to, to, to do with it. I guess but hmm Huh Maybe I don't know man Well, let's 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 start working here then We will lose because he has Eridan still to use and his lead is Massive I just don't have the numbers to deal with that so it's over already, but well, we'll We'll play to the end and see what happens. I have two lacerates, which, if I get just just re relentlessly lucky, I might get a uh, some some sort of miracle here. But I don't think so. I think it's over. But I'm gonna see it to the end. We have had odd situations before, like with the Scoyatel deck when he pulled the. Automatic Scorch card. That was an unexpected type of events there, you know, turn, turn of events. So, you know, we never know. We should see it to the end. I'm just... I'm just, uh... I, I have a healthy amount of pessimism here. <laughs> okay. 
Now this gets interesting. I should probably use a lacerate now to get nine strength away from here instead of having him have only two cards here and remove six. Yeah. And I think it's gonna happen next turn already, so... Uh, I think. Every two turns, so... I actually am not sure if it's gonna do that already, but I gotta, I gotta try some, some something, man. And he could also now assume that I, yeah, yeah, I did the right call there. Good. The next one he's gonna absorb is the ghoul, but I have one round now left to see what I can do here, you know? Okay, so... I... I... I, I think it's this one. But, again... Unless he has, like, just utter crap in his hand, I think it's lost here. He... He does not have crap, that's... that is for sure. Imlerith. Immune to weather, remove two strength from an opposing unit and one strength from all other units on its row. Yeah. That is a uh, solid card there, buddy. Well, I guess I gotta do the clan and great warrior then, but, you know. And actually, now I made a mistake there also because the, the Vran warrior is gonna absorb the ghoul. And then it's just gonna... Oh, wait. Do I still get to... No, I don't. I don't, no. Mm -mm. It's over, yeah. Oh, well. Such is life. I knew I was gonna lose the game almost certainly because... Just, just saying. Unless I get a perfect game... I just will not have enough to deal with any any of this, so just, you know, my Skellige cards are so, are so shit that they are not useful to use in, in any sort of game ever. That's, that, that's just the fact of life here. <laughs> Unfortunately, but that is the case, yeah. But I won a round. I call win. But yeah, I am not gonna play any more of the Skellige, not, not with these cards. It is such crap. I have heard, though, that when you get all the good cards, Skellige has been called to be even, quote-unquote, an exploit. Which, I think there might be a bit of salt to that comment, I, I, I would imagine. But I feel it's safe to assume that if you get the good kind of cards, then Skellige is extremely good. And I have seen Skellige work against me extremely well, but the problem is that I would need to have the super duper good cards, and I don't mean like two or three good ones, I mean like a full deck of just utterly different stuff that I have now, and I don't have the scrap to create them, so there's no point. Well, but we tried, we gave it a solid college try, a pessimistic one, but I tried to my fullest and to the end. And I will indeed do the Nilfgaard faction next, to see if you know, we can get some use out of that one. But, I will be doing that next time because I am all out of time for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. And do tell me, like, what is your favorite faction to play? And if you feel like I'm doing some something wrong with my deck builds here, absolutely, do tell me. I'm always listening to, you know, tactic as advice and all that. But with that, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.